Hello, so I recently did a video on stab proof vests that uh, proved to be quite popular So I thought I'd show you what's actually inside one because um, I've bought now and again like the panels out of them for doing ballistic tests on stabbing tests and things like this And this is the material that seems to be the modern stuff lots of them are made from So it's kind of just like a plasticky material now because it's a combined vest the one I had had one layer of Kevlar in it So that's the Kevlar. That's obviously your ballistic protection so as I was saying before, the problem is with Kevlar on its own. Kevlar is not really stab or cut resistant. It was actually fairly cut resistant to cut through it with shears to actually get the little panel out. But this stuff was way more shear proof um, than stab proof. But I'll hopefully be able to demonstrate the Kevlar now using a knife. So if I get my FS knife, because it's probably one of the best ones of demonstrating this. The issue is with Kevlar. Let's have a go. Yeah, there we go. Look, the Kevlar is not stab proof at all. Or, you know, it's better than probably some clothing is, but it's not actually, um, yeah, there we go, gone through it again there. <clears throat> don't know if you can see that very well, but, yeah, Kevlar, we'll just get it again for another section, so that's, see that there, that's where I'm going to stab through, yeah, there we go. So Kevlar itself, the problem is with it, that very, very good for ballistic protection from incoming rounds, um, you know, at least for lightweight rounds, until you have to move up to, like, steel plates and, uh, ceramic plates or rifle rounds, but for pistol rounds, Kevlar is very good. And it's like I said, it's just an aramid fibre that's woven together. Hopefully, maybe the texture of it shows up a bit on that camera. The problem is that it does, <coughs> like I say, because it doesn't do much against bladed objects, this is the stuff and other materials they use in stab vests. So, because this was a combined vest, like I said, you had one layer of Kevlar mixed in with all of these. Uh, this is, so this is the stuff they use for stab protection. Now, because this is only a single layer, this probably still will get knife, but we'll try it. Yeah, it will, but that's actually a lot harder to knife through. Maybe you can see out there it's coming through, but yeah, that, there we go. That's the FS going all the way through it. So, like I said, this can be knifed, but again, like I said, it's not it's not that easy to knife through. But the idea is obviously with these vests that you have lots and lots of panels of it. So now, I know they're not completely all neat and tidy, but what I want to do is just try and demonstrate what happens. Again, try to keep them close enough together, which is difficult. Yeah, once you get these panels together, the knife barely goes through them. Because the idea is it might get the first layer. Won't, and again, I know this isn't a particularly safe and interesting way of uh, demonstrating it, but yeah. The knife, you know, peppers the first layer, won't go any further. And that's the idea of these, you have lots of these panels together. You know, each one, if the first one takes the full force and the knife goes through it a little bit, the next one's going to take less force and everything like that. And like I said, you have lots and lots of these layers all compressed together. In, <clears throat> inside the body armor. So yeah, that's how the combination vests work and like I said, I like combination vests because you have the Kevlar, say, on the side of the uh, armor that faces the wearer. Um, and then you've got all the stab panels, you know, between them and that. So, you know, somebody knifing or slashing at you, these panels stop that. If a bullet gets all the way through these, uh, it then gets hopefully stopped by the Kevlar. So yeah, that's, like I said, how the police ones work. Hopefully you found that interesting because, like I said, a lot of the time... You know, you don't get a chance to pull these apart and actually have a look at the insides. Again, there are different materials that can be used for stab vests. Like we said, some cheap stab vests use just like metal plates that are riveted together. Again, that does work. Um, you know, like old plate armour. Um, but the problem is it's less comfortable. Because um, again, the more premium products with these are generally the ones that um, you can wear for longer. Because again, with a material like this, it obviously conforms to your body shape. Um, so, you know, that's why the, the actual police vests are quite nice because, you know, it's a lot more comfortable wearing loader layers of this that wrap around, you know, the shape of your torso than having a metal plate that doesn't move. Uh, the first ever, like, combination vest I did tests on was actually a uh, chainmail in the front. So it was a Kevlar, so it was literally, um, like a layer or two of this at the back, and then it just had, like, kind of medieval style chainmail glued to the front of it and taped to the front of it. And the idea was that, um, you know, the knife couldn't really penetrate properly through the Kevlar because you'd have to have a very thin, small point to get through any of the layers of the chainmail. Um, so again, that's why a lot of these say they're not spike resistant, but they are stab resistant. Because obviously, um, with any sort of body armour, you know, the thinner, like a needle-like spike with a lot of force behind it can penetrate stuff. Obviously, a lot easier than, say, a big wide blade where then the weight gets more pushed along. Again, the problem with Kevlar is you keep getting these horrible little fibres everywhere, a bit like asbestos. Nowhere near as bad as asbestos, but it is that kind of insulation-y kind of um, foam material. So yeah, 
bit to be found that interesting. But yeah, that's why this stuff is used in stab vests, not the Kevlar, unless it's a combination vest, as I said. Because this plasticky feeling stuff, um, I read online that some of this is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, same thing that's used in modern, funnily enough, um, like ballistic helmets and plates. But this stuff, like I said, is very cut resistant. And again, there's, there's a combination of things that can be used. But the idea is that, yeah, the Kevlar is there for the ballistic protection. For the stab protection, you have this stuff in lots of layers. Um, and like I said, it's basically just this kind of very sort of, yeah, you might be able to see that there. It's got a little pattern on it. It's got lots and lots of little rectangles kind of together. So I guess it works the same way as the Kevlar, that it's something woven together. But again, I guess they print these panels out and then stack them all together. So that, yeah, there you go. Uh, that, that's why these vests work well, because of the fact that, like I said, that they're, um, I'll just, just while I've got them out, let's get another knife, just to give a quick test. So if I grab, let's say, four of these panels or so, it's probably about five there, but, um, so a Repro M4 bayonet, not for the M4 rifle, but the M1 carbine, and these panels, like that, and as you can see, hopefully, you can see where it's trying to push through, but it's not managing. And, yeah. This stuff works well. So, yeah, as I said, um, and I imagine this knife would actually be less effective than the FS knife because it's a wider point. But, yep. It's completely stopping that. Like I said, it kind of just hits it and slides. I am being careful what I'm doing. It's not going to go all the way down and hit my leg. I can actually stop a knife like that in the air if you need to. That is possible. I know with YouTube comments, people probably don't think it is. Um, and again, the best way of testing these is actually to stab them onto a hard surface like a chopping board because then there's no give to it whatsoever. That's actually not realistic for how it would be on a human. Um, but let's just see again with the Kevlar, because like I said, Kevlar isn't knife proof. If we get this Kevlar, um, wrap it around here, look and push. You can just see the tip coming through there. Again, not, that still stops it better than I thought it would. But yeah, as you can see again, Kevlar, um, like I said, isn't actually knife proof. Um, you know, like I said, isn't slash proof either, if you see that, where um, it's drawn that line across the Kevlar there. Yeah, just there. So yeah, hopefully that hopefully that's interesting for you that find this sort of stuff interesting. That's how the sort of surplus police stab vests work, and I guess any of the new ones you would buy. Like I said, they don't always 100% use the same materials, but they all work in the same way. It's layered stuff, so, you know, if, it, if the knife or whatever defeats the first layer then it's lost energy by the time it gets to the second layer. Then if it goes through that, it's lost even more energy by the time it gets to the third layer. They always layer it because, as Weapon Collector was saying in his video, um, you know, you can bundle and tape together a load of magazines if you wanted to make some really cheap improvised stab protective gear. Nowhere near as good as the real stuff, but it does work on the same principle. You just need a lot more magazines, you know, and wait for paper to work the same way when taped together as these sort of proper materials. But yeah, so... Like I said, if you were interested in stab vests, I'll put the links in the description to this video again if you're in the UK that I did in the last video because as I said, uh, since doing that video there was another woman who's in critical condition who was waiting at a bus stop or something in Birmingham and some guy just decided to stab her for fun or whatever other reason because that's the way the UK is getting now. And of course I still got the people in that video saying, oh you're just some um, like scaremongering right winger or whatever, everything is completely fine and safe in the UK even though I think we all know it's not. So um, yeah. If you're interested in how those vests work, there we go, that's how they work.